Ready to hop on your magical diving horse and go on an underwater adventure? Well today, we're going to be diving a little outside the comfort zone, and we're going to be doing a small bit of programming. So here we go! First thing you going to want to do is create four variables. Player X, Player Y, Region ID, and Map ID. Now when I said a small bit of programming, I literally meant a small bit of programming. We're going to set Region ID equal to this script that you see on the screen now. All the capital letters have to be exactly the same as they are here. If this is too confusing for you, you can go into the description below and you can copy and paste this part. Basically what we're doing here is we're setting region ID equal to the region that's underneath the player. Now we're going to set map ID equal to game data map ID. Now we're going to set player X equal to game data character player map X. And we're going to do the same thing for map Y. So we're going to change map X to map Y. Next, we're going to create a conditional branch to see if you're holding down the page down button, which is W on the keyboard uh, by default. And if you are, we're going to do another conditional branch to check and see if the region ID is 1. And if it is, then we're going to show some text asking if you want to dive here. And then if yes, you want to teleport to the underwater area. In this case, I chose to put it underneath a small path which leads off the cliff. Now we're going to do the same thing for region 2, except we're going to teleport to a different area. Now on the underwater map, you want to create an event somewhere called return. And in this event here, you would ask if you want to dive back up. And if yes, then we're setting this event's location to be somewhere out of the way. So I'm just put it some random location, preferably just one block to the right. Then we're moving the player down one. And then we're using the command get on slash off ship, which can be located here. Then we're going to fade out the screen and then we're going to transfer the player. Now this part's very important. Instead of using a designated location, we're going to use a location based on the variables we, uh, we stored in the last map. So map ID, player X, and player Y. This will teleport the player back to wherever he dove from. Now, I have a parallel process on this map here, which is also very important. First, we're going to change the tint of the screen to make it slightly bluish. Then we're going to move the player up. After that, we're going to use the set event location to set the return event right in front of the ship. And that's all there is to it. You pretty much have to do the same thing with return two if you're if you're having um, two entry points on the same map, like I did. So there you go. Enjoy.